general consensus is for Samus mains, but I'm pretty sure that that's a counter pick for Samus. Like, like Samus likes Yoshi's versus Sheik. Really? I yeah. think Sheik's like Yoshi's versus Samus. <laughs> that, that, that's really interesting. Um, I do. I like Yoshi's versus Floaties. Right, right. Like, I just like the, the like, 20, 10 to 20% I can kill quicker. Fair enough. Um, it's. I just like Yoshi, so. I'm Samus. A Yoshi player. Samus can kill Sheik at like zero to like fifteen percent, like off poor <laughs> DI with down smash. Yeah, that's it's, true. it's hilarious. But yeah, yeah. Wow, Harriet already died. <laughs> <laughs> but so, one thing I noticed in the winner set is that there's like you know there's a lot of like Samus specific things you can do, like mm -hmm. things that you wouldn't think about, like when Samus. Like, it's pressuring you on shield. Like, sometimes you can actually, like, roll behind her, and it works out. And Harriet doesn't know. It seems like she doesn't know a lot about that stuff. So. She's definitely not. Very inexperienced. And if you think over. about it, like, how many Samuses are there? There's Avante, there's you, Me, but you don't always and, play Samus or Yeah, and, and Chip Groove, and that's and it. And Chip, yeah, that's all. But I don't think either, like, any of you, like, actively go to, like, every single event, you know? Uh yeah no not really I I mean uh, I go to you go I to go to much bit. more than OP and Chip Group do like, yeah, but I don't go to everything Chip, yeah so like she probably hasn't had a lot of Samus experience so. Harriet has bought me in tournament before though the Sheik Samus I couldn't brawl but uh it's it Avante plays a different style though. very different style. yeah like yeah. you two play completely different it seems like Avante still has like a like an old school type of yeah, he really does. It's it's very uh, he's he's very patient. Um, yeah, he's like defensive, but like he he has like really sh way. yeah exactly. <laughs> he he has like short bursts of he, he's trying to do east end missiles. Did did Op learn the east end missiles? That would be crazy. So I Avante has been playing longer than me, but as long as I've been playing, Avante has been doing those missiles. So at least since 2011. Well, like he actually can't consistently east end missile on on, on battlefield. Yeah. yeah, on battlefield. I've been trying to teach it to him for like a little while now, but we don't play enough to like really get it through. Yeah, it's actually a pretty simple concept. Yeah. Oh, Avante loves counter picking uh, Stadium because he likes doing the east end missiles. Yeah, yeah. Stadium's so good for Usain missiles and, and hard, hard missiles. It's just great. Oh my yeah, gosh. it's like Missile Haven. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good wave land on OP's part. Yeah. I like and slid him under there. Yeah, nice tether jump. Um, tether jump, or like like just like just like tether timing is super important in this matchup because the needles, like like you can almost always just like air dodge and then like tether late instead of getting hit by needles or like delaying your tether and then doing like the perfect tether jump to sweet spot instead yeah. of just. So just up being like it's it makes Sheik's uh, edge guard edge guard game a lot more difficult like to pull yeah. off. Yeah, Sheik is like she's one of the characters that has like a easier time at turning Samus compared to like a, yeah, a fox or definitely. Falcon or something. That was a good back of that Harry. Ah, OP back here, man. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go back here. The hard back here. Ops is gonna go for a down smash. Yeah, actually. yeah. I, I I figured it'd be down smash too, but. Had the oh, S-Mash been spaced better, it would have been, like, the best Yeah, option. like a hard hit one. But, I mean, to be fair, I mean, he got the stock, so... Yep. That was a nice uh, back air to dash attack. One but. thing I've noticed is Harriet is not good at getting, like, the down throw combos on Samus. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's guaranteed, but I was saying as a Sheik main, I feel like it's... Samus is by far the hardest character to get, like, your down throw aerial on. I yeah, feel like... Yeah, it's tough. Like, it's way easier to get on, like, Peach or Puff mm -hmm. or any of those other floaties. I, I do know well that when Sheik down through a Samus, um, that that while while like F tilt's guaranteed, a follow up off F tilt is not, not guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so Sheik is forced to, uh, to down through guaranteed. a slap, yeah, or yeah. or up air, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the thing is, the up air and the fair are technically always guaranteed, but mm -hmm. especially the up air when they di like in uh, forward, it's yeah. so such a tight timing. On exactly. Part. And Harriet seems like she struggled. In uh, getting that sometimes. That's actually like one of the things that I feel very comfortable against Harriet, like like getting out of her her throw setups. Mm -hmm. That's another one of the things that it's like, like when a spacey's getting tech chase, like it's not really up to you. Like you yeah. can make it harder, but in the end, kind of just, just until she messes, messes up. Yeah. Up, yeah. And like, I think I've gotten like pretty good at it, but even like now and then on this end, right? Like it's just oh, that was slick. That was slick. I. I love oh, Avante's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing about Avante. Sometimes he'll just do some really slick. Right, yeah. No, um, 
that bomb he did there actually it's it's super super good at covering uh it's it's actually best against ice climbers but really? it's it's extremely good at covering Sheik and Marsupi, but against Ices, if, if, if they're Nana stalling, you can actually bomb, let Nana go past the bomb, and the bomb will gimp Popo without oh, Nana. Wow, that's actually and it just kills automatically. <laughs> it's disgusting. So, Harriet's come back with a vengeance this game. <laughs> Racking up a quick 60. One thing also that I noticed that uh, Harriet's, this is more of the last set compared to the first game, though, mm -hmm. but um, he's getting caught in the air wow. quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good tether on OP's part, though. It, it was, yeah. like, perfectly spaced. Uh, uh, good good mix-up on his on his recovery. Um, uh, he went from bombing twice to uh, to doing single bomb and just using the mobility from it. Yeah, I'm surprised Harriet also didn't go for, like, an angle needle. Yeah, um, honestly, back here, like, if, like, Samus is recovering high, she generally wants to go low in sweet spot ledge because, like, uh, Sheik's back air will cover, like, a lot of, yeah, like, high... Yeah, back air is such a good move to cover. That's actually one thing I did notice too. He's not comfortable grabbing the ledge versus Samus. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. And like, as well. you can like if you're not scared, you can actually back air a lot of Samus, yeah. especially the tether stuff. Yeah, uh, the tether. Well, like once you hear it, it's like it, it, it's it's really good to like practice it as an audio cue yeah. because once you hear it, like you can hit her. Yeah. Like like yeah. even Ganondorf can go out there and down air Samus. <laughs> she, like it's it, it sounds hilarious, was, but it's totally optimal. Like, yeah, it's funny. So. I was, this was a couple of years ago, I was fighting Sung back when he was like on the Samus spree. <laughs> and he's the one who actually taught me that. Like, there's so oh, many, really? like, yeah, there's so many, like, little cues you can do to, like, edge guard Samus with Sheik. Right. Yeah. And it's helpful coming from him because, like, he's, like, a super good Sheik and he's just a good Samus. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. OP's a. Uh, OP has really, like, as of lately, really, like, his bomb usage has, like, like, he. He's always really enjoyed bombs, but like his bomb usage is just like improved. Yeah, it, it's 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 improved and like almost like not improved. Like it's it's like really? it's it's gotten better in some areas and worse in some areas. But like he's just using it a lot more often. Which I is, guess he's just trying to f trying out more. Yeah. To figure out how to use it better. I played against him in teams earlier, and he he used it really really well for sh shield pressure. And those were good jabs on shield. Yeah, that was also smart like uh, fall down there. Yeah. Because uh, he knew she wanted to shield her up. Um, I, I don't. I don't hate these nares what that OP is doing, but if Sheik up B's on the platform, it should be a back air or a down air. Yeah. That was a really good, um, he double jumped into the bomb to to get the explosion bounce, and then he uh, missled like, out of it, yeah. yeah. That's also, like, that's like a, a Samus trick, though. Samus is like... Oh. Yeah. It's a good mix-up. I'm surprised he didn't dash attack. Either. Maybe she was Yeah, it, it looked like a dash attack. Um, That's actually genuinely what Samus is forced to do off down throw, is down yeah, dash attack. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. That was absolutely insane. Um, the the bomb to air dodge tether tether cancel like yeah. What what's the point of doing the tether cancel there? Like what advantage does it give you? It's actually almost entirely pointless. <laughs> but it just looks so. Yes. Long. <laughs> I've always I've yeah. seen Ovante and other Samus do like the tether cancel. <laughs> I'm always like, what was the point of doing it's the so tether pointless. cancel? <laughs> it looks pretty hype though. Um, Duck actually has like some of the best use of it I've ever seen though uh, against uh, oh. against Ice in 2015 they they had a Sheik versus Samus set and Duck actually gets uh, he bombs and then double jumps into the bomb and tethers and his tether hits Ice off stage and then the bomb blows up and it, and he immediately gets the fair like out of tether mm. and so like you can actually true combo it but it's it's kind of like silly it's just a, it's, silly. it's a silly sequence of events. exactly okay the tether cancel yeah, on the ledge right there that's sick though I love yeah. it. So, Harriet's really, like, controlled this game, though. Oh, definitely. And Ovante hasn't been able to get this kill. Well, finally did. But, like, Samus can kill Sheik earlier than that. Like, 190 definitely. is definitely, like, unacceptable. It's, uh... Samus really just has to, like, work on, like, getting Sheik... Like, like, Samus is so good at just putting Sheik off stage. Where, like, that's yeah. why, like, Samus has any, like... And uh, oh, I was oh wow! But like it's the same way. You have to get good at like getting the hard hits. Too, yeah, to get definitely. Sheik off stage because Avante, as you were mentioning, he kept doing like a nair, and like mm -hmm. nairs are okay, but like a hard back air would yeah, really. Yeah, no, kill definitely. Sheik. Because because you're forcing Sheik to like have to up be on stage. And yeah, and if, even though Samus doesn't have like as many options as like Fox to cover, he mm -hmm. can still cover it. Yeah, no, definitely. I uh, this is a, this is is this a. Best out of best of three or best of five, best of three. How's oh, this game three? Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah I I agree with this. Oh my! Wow, God. <laughs> that, that power shield was. That hilarious. was like a power shield before Go even left the screen. <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh. Oh. Wow. Well, you know, the second I saw that, I was like, that's, that seems like an SD. Right, yeah. <laughs> But that was super unfortunate there. Um, something, something that uh, I feel like it has to do with 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 OP being so old school. But like he's really, really like stuck in his ways when it comes to like like he really likes to wave land off platforms and just like yeah, get the really quick wave land. And like it's really good. It, it gives Samus like access to like a, a fast fall aerial like like in neutral and like that's always good. But it's like it's really easy to call out. And like I, I feel like if Harriet was calling out, you know, like the wave land off platform more, like. Like, she wouldn't be getting hit neutral. Yeah, it like, should be, like, more of a mix-up, exactly. not, like, an every-time thing. Mm -hmm. So, Harry did bring that whole stock back, though. You can tell she's getting more comfortable with the matchup. No, like, definitely. She she's being a little bit more patient now. I'm like, being patient, but not letting Ovante just, like, get free misses on her shield. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was a big thing in the first set. Like, Ovante would missile her shield, and, like, you shouldn't let Samus just missile your shield for free. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, yeah, you can even hit the missiles. Like most yeah. characters can like, jab the missiles. Like you can jab the missiles. You can even like aerial add a shield to hit the missiles. Or like you can like take the missile and then like wave dash back at a shield. Yeah, like, right. Or like wave dash in if you want. <laughs> um, one thing that OP is really, really good at doing in this. Wow, is is really good at doing in this matchup is uh is grabbing, just getting grabs. Yeah, that. So Ovante like was. <laughs> Every time I played Ovante, he'd always grab me a lot until I literally just started rolling behind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's so dumb, but like rolling behind Samus when you know like they're pressuring they're gonna you, grab, yeah. to grab, it's yeah. so like dumb. It's, but so, it, good. it's so good. It's yeah. the best option. Like you just get out of it, or you or short hop or whatever. Yeah, like. or short hop. But it's like it. It's so dumb because like you don't want to do that versus like any other. Guy. Right. Yeah. No. Exactly. It's like, it's like purely when, anti Samus. When is roll the best move? Like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like that down tilt, but but uh, the auto cancel fair just like beats it straight yeah. up. Oh, uh, and oh, oh, the save the saved him, yeah. <laughs> so that won't kill. Uh, Avante needs to collect himself and stop falling with aerials. Uh, he needs to, he needs to get ledge or like get on get back in neutral. Uh, the double jump. Uh, trying to go for the double jump to continue the combo simple bad. What an excellent sweet spot. He wanted the immediate up tilt, and unfortunately, wow, that from soft up there. Yeah. I guess it was at 150. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did you know that that Samus's up tilt has it, it, it takes longer to come out than her grab? Really? Yeah, and that's so, actually a surprise. Yeah, right. It's it, it's not by much, but um, it's it's really easy to call her out when she up tilts, and so like wave dash or, or, or like ledge dash up tilt like is something that you see like top level players do decently, yeah. and like it looks pretty good, but uh, it's actually like really tough. Also, fun fact: you can only tether cancel on this stage by tethering Randall while he's entering the stage. <laughs> But, but it will tether cancel every time if you hit it. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Um, that was that was a pretty convincing match. Uh, it, oh, I'm, it's best out of five. Is, this is best of three, is it not? I thought it was. Yeah, this... I mean, I guess they haven't been banning. Oh, it looks like we're doing a best of five. Uh, I guess... I guess that's... Yeah. Okay. Why well, didn't hear you pick up you? Right? <laughs> I guess she likes platforms. Mm -hmm. So Dreamland, uh, so theoretically it's great for Samus. Samus can live forever. Um, I honestly never minded the level there. Yeah, Samus. it's. I actually don't even like playing on Dreamland as Samus, but I acknowledge it's, it's probably the best stage in this matchup. Yeah. For Samus. I've always been like the the type of sheik that hasn't minded playing floaties. Yeah. Dreamland. Like against like. Uh, against Baka and Ziff, I almost always strike to Dreamlanders. <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like against slower characters, Sheik is so good on platforms here, and it can right. really frustrate them. But Harriet surprisingly hasn't been using platforms. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, uh, wow, wow. She, uh, accidentally. Yeah. Um, OP was being really patient when she was, when, when Harriet was Sheena stalling on ledge, but honestly, like, like he should just like pressure a little bit and then you get charged up. Like. Yeah. Uh, all the sales. <laughs> that was an excellent slow get up down tilt. I I love that setup. Yeah. If if he was under a hundred, he would have got hit. One thing that surprises me is me is that I don't see OP do the uh, do the hugs that often. The uh, just like the straight up like Tom walk on stage from ledge. Um, but it's it's really good. It's really good to get cheek. Like really good to get cheek specifically because like you can just like immediately down tilt or like yeah. immediately put out a grab or whatever. That was bad spacing on the F tilt, but... Ooh, nice crouch cancel. 
And that was that was really good. That's oh. a back air again. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah. I'm really surprised it's not great for back air. Yeah, me too. I think because I've seen him go for this. Exactly. He's, he's not bad at sweet spotting. Yeah. Though, like. Oh. Uh, I thought he was gonna crap. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that would have been so sick. That was good awareness of my Harriet. That was good usage of the tether cancel, honestly. Like. Harriet's like slowly getting better at edge darting sounds too. Mm -hmm. She's using needles more. She's still like she still seems scared to grab the edge, but yeah, I I'd like to see uh I'd like to see OPF tilting more. Just like yeah. just like you know, claiming his own space on the stage. Yeah, you know, let me mention he hasn't done like a lot of tilts or like low lag moves like that in neutral to like Get gain space. He's, he's mainly just done like uh, missiles. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's like putting himself in the air constantly, yeah. and like that's it's. I'm, I'm, I mean, props to him because I can't pull it off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, like Samus has to stay grounded. At yeah, least. I agree. Now, now that you mentioned it, like the hardest Samus is for Sheik usually are just like purely grounded. Yeah, exactly. Like if you like look at Fluff back when he played Samus all the time, he would just stay purely grounded. Exactly. Poke and, poke and plot his way there, but Avante seems like he's never played like that, really. Yeah, yeah. He's been a uh, aerial heavy Samus. It's definitely fun, but yeah, so not often. Samus' aerials are fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was like that was the type of choice. situation where she was missing without their aerial, but it seems like she's gotten the hang of it now. It was, it, it was also a really good choice in OP, uh, OP smart because she definitely would have died from down throw fair. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's why Dreamlink can really benefit Samus sometimes, because if they just DI up, they have like infinite, well, not infinite living, but, but yeah, another yeah. like 20, 30, 40%. Oh. Wow, I thought that was intentional. Yeah. So, clean stock lead. Uh, it'll be tough for Avante to come back. Definitely. Uh, Samus isn't really like a comeback character. Def yeah, I, I agree. Especially like, against like Sheik. Samus has got survivability, but like. Unless she's just like playing super well, like now. Yeah, unless like you're getting outplayed in neutral by the Samus. Like, yeah. If you have the lead versus Samus, you can kind of milk it. Oh, that was sick. That's like the type of situation where like once the missile hits your shield, I would just like roll behind, and Avante would do that grab, and I would grab him. Like, right. Something. Um. So I'm so like, it seemed like she wasn't confident with the back air there. Like she could have done it a lot earlier mm -hmm. than she did. And I, it probably would have worked better. Yeah, but she's still just, like in complete control on the level. Her neutral in this game, well, in this set, like really improved. It, it, like tenfold to, uh, compared to the last set because yeah, OP was just like able to find those hits last set. And it's looking really tough. Yeah. See, he just put himself in the air like that. Like, like that doesn't make any sense. It's like he's putting himself in the wow. air, but at the same time, Harriet stopped putting herself in the air. Uh, OP, I, I felt it too. Um. He tried to missile on stage, Super Wave Dash. Yeah, Super Wave Dash, yeah. He, he's really good at it, too. I'm, I'm know, surprised he, he missed good it. At it. Yeah. Oh, that was a solid set from both of yeah. them. Um, I'm really glad to see Harriet adapt. Yeah, Because I'm, that's important. Um, it's, it was interesting to see her adaptation.